Hey everybody, how's it going? I kind of promised a video of the Cardinals, babies. A live baby brine chamber going inside this little one gallon nano cube uh, that it kind of just rigged up. I've got an air stone going in there, uh, a couple little pieces of live rock. I put a uh, little baby urchin over here. As you can see, I'm right on the edge. Let me just turn that just a little bit. Sorry, I'm shooting straight up and down here. I know it's going to be weird on YouTube, but easiest way to get the full kind of visual of the tank. Just sort of showing what I'm doing um, with everything. Uh, I do clean out the chamber when you add the um, small eggs, uh, which are the baby brine eggs, which come in a little vial like this. So you can see all the eggs get sort of settled in to this chamber here. And as the bubble goes, it draws them out from the bottom. You can see them getting pulled out and they go frantically around inside there until they hatch down in the bottom bit. That's all the actual hatchings uh, down in, in there. That's the shell casings. And then they go up inside the chamber where I think you might be able to see some of them swimming around in there. And then they come out the flow end over here where these guys have learned. That's where they all hang out. So it seems like the dominant cardinals, the bigger ones, I mean, I use that term lightly because they're a bit bigger in my fingernail, uh, have sort of owned this area. So I kind of jacked up the number of um, baby brine in there now just to sort of get them to flow out of there so the other guys um, don't die off. I started out with nine um, baby cardinals in here. There are now only six. So I would assume that that's some form of a pecking order or something like that. These guys probably... Um, they just comp out compete each other for the food, I think is what it is more than anything. There's not a lot of brotherly, sisterly love going on, they just eat. Uh, what I found really interesting with the, all of this was that I had this tank for the longest time down the other end of the, of the bar here. But I uh, had since moved it to the tank, right beside the tank, as you can see the tank is right here. Um, ever since I moved the tank over here, to sort of share off the light of the main display, which isn't on yet, but um, the cardinal parents, clearly the breeding pair, which are, I know it's tough to see here, but I do have a couple lights, are right here. As soon as I put the tank beside the tank, these two moved from down that end of the tank down to this end, and most of the time they spend hanging out right at the glass, looking in to this tank. Now, I don't know if it was just a coincidence, but uh, as soon as I moved the tank over here, all nine at the time of the Cardinals moved to the glass on this end, and they were staring at each other. I thought that was kind of cool. But anyway, they seem to be kind of thriving. I just change out the water. I'd put in, you know, I'd do two big scoops of water out every couple days or so of this, this, into this dump out the water from here and take it from the main display and fill it back up. Keeps the water going clean. I'll clean this little the brine uh, chamber probably after this hatch. Uh, it says to do it after every hatch. I, I haven't been doing it. Um, I haven't had any issues. I mean I expected that a couple of them wouldn't make it just because the you can see them kind of fighting each other right now for the space. Just because of the way it is, there's hiding spaces. I put a little PVC tube, a couple of them go in there at night. Uh, for the most part, they do hang out in the urchin when they feel even remotely threatened, but uh, for the most part, they don't bother with them either. And I'm thinking about when I'm gonna put them into the main display. Either that or I'm gonna sell them at the store uh, to my guy. I haven't decided yet, but uh, we'll see. But anyway, I just thought I'd give you this little quick video of these little dudes because it's pretty cool and as of right now this male right here his mouth is also full of eggs I believe it's the eggs I haven't really seen him fully open his mouth yet but he's clearly got his uh, fry or eggs or whatever in his mouth right now um, he hasn't been eating but every once in a while he shoots them all out, and grabs a quick snack and sucks them back up again. The other fish clearly know he has them in there because they hang out 
right near him. I found it kind of interesting that there's tons of hiding spaces where rocks he could get into without a doubt, without a problem, uh, big enough for him, but small enough to stop the other fish. Uh, I'm assuming this is the female because these are the only two that hang out. The other ones, the other cardinals, there's five in the tank. The other cardinals do come over here. Um, and he just kind of wards them off a little bit. But overall, they don't really fight a whole lot either. But, uh, one of the things I've got going on right now, it's a sidebar. I do have a cyano outbreak started. I have been, I'm just today, I'm going to kill the lights for a couple days just to see if I can get it toned down a bit while I'm dosing the... Uh, See, I don't clean um, this stuff. I've been dosing this now for the last couple days. It's really cheap. Yeah. Welcome to Canada. Hey. But anyway, so I've been putting this stuff in according to what it's dosing. But uh, we'll see. I stopped doing it for a few days because I was away. So it taken over just a little bit it's only really in like you can't so there's nothing really here it's up on these couple rocks up in here on the right hand side near the top with the bright light obviously so I'll uh, see if I can get that under control either that or I'll do the other one then the heavy dose where you can't remember the name of it offhand but anyway this video is more about this it just seems like every one of mine segue into another little video every time with some other topic but that's what happens when you're an amateur rookie with videos you just start talking about stuff and shit happens I guess that's the little dudes I'll leave the video on here for a little bit so you can check them out they are seriously about ah, I guess the bigger guys the bigger ones here they're probably close to a centimeter and a half let's see if you can get them to see if you can feed them it. there you go that's probably an egg that he spat out there they won't touch the eggs, they do eat the baby brine, so once they come out, you can see the little brine swimming, if you can see on the camera. Uh, the one thing that I do notice I can recommend to you is when you put the eggs in, you see how they, they do get stuck up in the top. Uh, it says just mix them up once and here and there. It's like I find that you want to kind of just agitate them a bit. You don't want to smush them if you can avoid, avoid it, but you want to kind of agitate them a few times uh, to get them to start to pull down. You can see that once you spin them up and mix them up a bit, they do come out that bottom pretty quick. So I tend to stick with them for a little while and just keep on mixing them up until that chamber really starts to fill up. Um, these guys eat all the time. Like they're just nonstop. If it's if it's in there, they're gonna eat it. And I mean, you gotta figure these tiny little things, like uh, I bet you they're trying, probably eating 100, 200, maybe 300 brine a day. I don't know, I can't, don't quote me on the numbers. I know that people will comment on that, but I watch them for two minutes when the brines are coming out and they eat one after another every two seconds if they can, as fast as they can get them in, they eat them. So I figured why not give them as much as possible to get them as healthy and big as possible. And who's kidding you? These, these guys are growing actually pretty quick. So feed, feed, feed. Lots, lots of bubbles in the water. Um, the bubbles coming out of the feeder, they say one to two bubbles every second or so. So, I mean, I pretty much got that on. I don't have a regulator on there. I'm sure there's something out there that you can do. A valve, I made up my own little. I kind of put post-it notes and folded and used an elastics. And I turned the note, the little pieces of paper, to open up the valve a little bit in order to increase or decrease the, uh, the speed of the bubbles. I mean, it works. I got a piece of plastic wedged in that one as well. But... Uh, I don't know, just a little makeshift in case I'm sure there's something out there that I can buy that I can just regulate with the valves. I mean, just every time I'm at the store, I forget to get it. So, 
I've been using that and it's stayed consistently like this the entire time so I haven't bothered but I'm sure I'll go and get it someday because that's kind of how I am and that's the baby cardinals in a nutshell pretty cute little dudes it's always cool when you get stuff that's actually breeding and living in the tank and let you know that things are going good at least for the fish um, as I mentioned before I've set up dosing on the big tank um, I'll show you that stuff. Still having issues with high calcium. I've been testing it. I've added a whole whack of um, Acropora and a bunch of other frags in the tank. So they seem to be absorbing uh, the calcium a bit. I want to get it down as much as I can in order to get them to really start to take it. Cause, uh, magnesium levels and everything are good too. But we'll see. Trying to get everything going. But now I got the cyano thing, so I don't know. Hopefully that'll get in check with the dosing of that uh, cyano clean stuff. These little dudes. <laughs> One thing you do need to have, I don't have a light for this, but I've got my under counter lighting. It seems to be working just fine. Um, the eggs need the photo obviously because that's what they use for food for themselves so you don't have lights on these things for you know a good portion of the day they're not gonna hatch so with that agitation and the lights they've been producing like you can see how many egg casings there are down the bottom so there's clearly a, have a lot come through there As I mentioned, see this guy down here, he's low pecking order obviously because he's not up by the feed. There's two guys that are clearly bigger than the other ones. I think they're the ones that are just kind of taking over a bit. I might adjust this uh, positioning when I clean it next time to move it more over to the end here because I mean some of those little brines are getting sucked into the, uh, the little overflow in this little tank. So Tweaking, always tweaking, changing things around. See if I can get some video of them actually coming out. an idea how much they eat or just non-stop I don't know what they sell for in the states but here they're 25 bucks and up you can see them as high as 29 um, sometimes they're on sale for 15 20 bucks if there are a whole bunch of them but my guy's already told me he'd buy them so sure it'll just be in-store credits but whatever I can breed some fish to uh, subsidize some of the cost of things why not right I mean realistically there's zero maintenance especially with the live brine chamber that, that's the best thing ever just mix it in once a day here and there they hatch between 18 and 24 hours So I've got two air pumps. This one here is running the feeding chamber and the little one back there is running the stone. Anyway, that's a long time. Peace out. I'll talk to you soon. I'll do that video for the dosing thing too, eventually. Cheers. Have a good one.